How could all this have happened in half a day, between morning and sunset? All my clothes were new, the uniform, the shoes. They did not make me happy, however, as this was the day I was to be thrown into school for the first time. Why school? What have I done? I'm not punishing you. School isn't the place for a punishment. My father told me that school makes useful men out of boys, but I wasn't convinced. I didn't believe there was any reason to tear me away from my home and throwing me into the huge high walled building. Men sorting us into ranks, forming us into an intricate pattern in the great courtyard, surrounded by high buildings. I felt I was a stranger who had lost his way, but then one of them came over and asked in curiosity. Who brought you? My father. My father is there. I didn't know what to say. Then a man came along and talked to us. This is your new home. Everything that is enjoyable and beneficial is here. So dry your tears and face life joyfully. It seemed that my misgivings had no basis. From the first moments, I made many friends and fell in love with many girls. I had never imagined school would have this rich variety of experiences. We played all sorts of games. We also had our first introduction to language. We saw a globe of the earth, which revolved and showed the various continents and countries. We started learning numbers, and we were told the story of the creator of the universe. Our path, however, wasn't totally sweet and unclouded. We had to be observant and patient. It was not all a matter of playing and fooling around. Rivalries could bring about pain and hatred. The time for changing one's mind was over and gone, and there was no question of ever returning to the paradise of home. Nothing lay ahead of us but exertion, struggle, and perseverance. Those who were able took advantage of the opportunities for success and happiness that presented themselves. It was the end of the day. I said goodbye to friends and sweethearts and passed through the gate. I stepped aside to wait. When I had waited for a long time in vain, I decided to return home on my own. I walked a few steps, then came to startled halt. Good Lord, where was the street lined with gardens? Where had it disappeared to? I was in a daze. My head spun. I almost went crazy. How could all this have happened in half a day between morning and sunset? I would find the answer at home with my father, but where's my home? I hurried towards the crossroads because I remembered that I had to cross the street to reach our house. But the stream of cars wouldn't let me up. Extremely irritated, I wondered when I would be able to cross. I stood there a long time until a young boy came up to me and said, Grandpa, let me take you across.